Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. In this particular video, I'm going to talk a bit about the petty offense exception, what it means, how to use it, uh, why people wonder if they are or are not under it. So in order to discuss what the petty offense exception is, first I need to discuss a little bit about inadmissibility. So whenever you come into the United States or for, you know, many times when you're in the United States and you apply for the green card, uh, you know, there's all different kinds of ways or you're in removal proceedings and you're applying to cancel uh, the removal proceedings and so forth. Um, they first need to see, they being the government in some way or another, needs to see if you fall under any of the types of uh, statutes which make you inadmissible. Now, you know, I could talk about what makes you inadmissible for the next 12 hours, and in my almost 900 videos, there are a lot of them on that subject, but in this particular regard, we're talking only about crimes, okay, nothing else, not fraud, not health, not public charge, you know, nothing like that, just crimes. So the question is whether or not you've committed a crime that makes you inadmissible to the U.S. So again, and we're, we're not talking about whether you can waive it or not waive it, you know, uh, whether you can ask for permission to come in even though you've committed it. Um, we're only talking about whether or not if you try to either come into the United States on a non-immigrant visa, on an immigrant visa, um, you know, or you try to renew your green card, whatever the multiple areas are that allow you uh, to continue with your status in the U.S., whether or not you're inadmissible because of a crime that was committed. And what I mean by inadmissible, for all intents and purposes, is they don't let you in. Okay, um, there's all kinds of ways, you know, we discuss later around that. But for now, um, it means you commit a crime and therefore you can't come into the U.S. or you can't continue staying in the U.S. Um, so not all crimes you commit make you inadmissible. Okay, just to say you have a traffic ticket, um, that's not going to make you inadmissible. Um, so there's what's called the petty offense exception okay and this is where yes you have committed a crime but because it falls under the petty offense exception you are not inadmissible okay now keep in mind you only get one petty offense exception so if you have two crimes that fall under the petty offense exception each of them separately that doesn't work and you're inadmissible so we're talking about one crime that you've committed that makes you inadmissible or not and whether or not it falls under the petty offense exception. So the basic rule is that you are not sentenced to more than six months in jail, okay, and that the maximum time that the judge could sentence you would have been no more than a year. So it's always the second part that is uh, the part that needs some uh, deeper analysis, okay? Um, I have lots of people who call for consults and they'll say, well, you know, does this crime fall under it or it doesn't fall? And there's no way I can tell unless I look at the statutory language of the crime. And many times it's going to point to other types of sentencing statutes so that it is, can be determined whether or not the maximum sentence is no more than a year. Obviously, if you were sentenced to two days in jail, but the maximum sentence you could have been sentenced maybe was two years, well, it doesn't fall under the petty offense exception. So, you know, once you determine whether or not it falls under the petty offense exception, then even though you committed the crime, you're not inadmissible from coming to the U.S., you're not inadmissible for uh, filing for the green card, you don't have to file for a waiver. Um, it's basically... Um, a crime that immigration law says is, relatively speaking, so small, they're not going to deny you the ability to come into the U.S. So there's always lots of questions whether a particular crime falls or doesn't fall under it. You know, there could be a, a petty theft statute in California that's different than a petty offense statute in Wisconsin, 
for doing exactly the same thing. And one might be under the petty offense exception, one might not. Um, so again, the, the key here is properly analyzing the statute to see if, in fact, you can argue it doesn't fall under the petty offense exception. So hopefully this clears up a little bit of the issues as to what is and what is not a petty offense exception. Um, as always, if you have requests and want me to do a video on any number of uh, issues on immigration law, just uh, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. Uh, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and more on the coming videos. Thank you.